Vinci Ambrose, Psycho Sports Cartel here in Las Vegas, uh, throwing together a quick instructional video for you guys um, for graphic installation. Um, the videos that we're going to be doing are going to be different bikes, different pieces of the bikes, um, just so we don't bore you and uh, they don't take too long. But uh, tonight, um, one, I'm going to go over the tools necessary to do the graphics, required tools, and two, the best way to do it. Our graphics have a lot more coverage and different material than a lot of the companies out there, so uh, they could get a little tricky, but they definitely are user friendly and it's something that you can do it yourself at home. So that's why we're going to put the videos together. And uh, let's get started. Uh, the first one we're going to be doing, first video, is a uh, 2015 JX 450 front fender install. And uh, I know most of you guys are like, oh, front fender, that's easy. You just got the front tip, da -da, whatever. Not really. With, uh, with Psycho Sports Cartel, we go a little bit above and beyond with our graphics, and we cover the entire fender. That. Give you an example of what you should or what we recommend that you use tools wise. Blow dryer. Definitely want a blow dryer. Some people say use a heat gun. I don't like a heat gun because if you get too hot, it scorch the, the graphic and you know, it, it just gets too hot. Blow dryer might take a little bit more time, but it's more forgiving. So I definitely go with the blow dryer. Don't always use water, but I like to use spray bottle. Um, and just in case you know the bigger pieces, when you have to do a little bit more plumbing, make them look perfect, water is definitely good. Also, uh, a utility knife. The finer the blade, the better. Um, this is one I just grabbed real quick out of the toolbox, but it's some sort of razor knife that cut the edges. Our templates are usually spot on. The install, however, depending on who's doing it, might not be, so that's why we have the razor just so we don't trim off the whole Microfiber towel, very, very important. I, even with a squeegee, which is another tool that was required, recommended tool, um, I always go with microfiber. I even wrap the squeegee in microfiber just so we need to get back in the bunch of graphics. So really, I mean, you don't need that much. A spray bottle, squeegee, microfiber towel, blow dryer, which I'm sure one of your chicks or daughters or somebody's got a blow dryer in the house, or maybe you do. Windex, glass cleaner. Always clean all your plastic. Even if you're buying brand new plastic, whether it's from Sherby's UFO, always clean it first. Give it, give it a good surface to, to adhere to. Um, so, um, like I said, 2015 KX450, this bike is a really sentimental bike to me, and uh, we just redid the templates on the front fender on the newer KX450s, and uh, so I want to get this thing done, so let's do it. Alright, so make sure you clean this thing real good, that Windex, any oils or uh, any kind of chemicals that might be on it, um, just get everything off. I mean, it's always best for kind of clean surface. Make sure it's super clean. You guys are gonna be pumped on like the amount of stickers that are involved on a front fender. We have more coverage than the majority of the companies out there, but um, utility knife. All right, KX front fender. As you can see. Just from center has quite a few pieces. I always like working with the stuff warm, so I like leaving it inside in the house. And these are all front fender pieces. So one thing you can do, laying them all out and using masking tape so you know that every where every piece goes, probably not a bad idea. And always start with your bigger pieces. I do. This one obviously is gonna be a side piece. You should have two of those. There's like this side piece right here, we know it's gonna go right there. So the finger out down there, we know it's gonna go right there. Super cool templates on this front fender. So I'm gonna spare you all the, the masking and all that, and I'm, we're just gonna get right into it. First piece is gonna be your tip and your flow piece through the center. Uh, a good thing that I always do, and this is just my advice, is I don't like to like strip all the backing off the piece completely right off the bat. Because um, then you got 
a bunch, a big piece that could stick to each other and all that and pain in the ass. So what I do is I take like this piece for instance, I'll do two, two pieces. I'll, I'll go ahead and rip off the backing off this. We'll get this, these pieces off to where they meet down here. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and tear this off like that. So that way this has still got the paper on it, everything else has got the, the stick. Now, we're gonna set that where we know it needs to go. And then we're gonna get that first piece started. Now I got two fingers right here. No, don't rush on this. Don't rush on these. No, no reason to, man. The, the adhesive is super good. It's not, you can, once you stick it, you can pull it back up and stick it again. Pull it back up, stick it in. It's still gonna stick, it's still gonna last you, dude. You're not ruining the adhesive. Um, and then we'll take this one, this, we'll separate it because we got two of these fingers. And we're gonna make sure it's center right there where you want it. Got that stuck down, if you can see that. Then we'll uh, do the other side. So we didn't pull the paper off, so we just go ahead and, because now, you know, we're not working it too much. So we got that. And make sure it's and follow the curve of the plastic. The material will bend and, or and will move and, and it'll go where you want it to go. And anytime you get fingers like this, like little wavy fingers, blow dryer. And then like, see now I have the fingers up here, you know, just I wanted to follow the same, same, direction that I did with that one. So I got these fingers here. Back to the fact of like our coverage and having more, having more on, on the bike than the other companies. I mean, we just, we do our own template. So we have the ability to like take the whole fender and make a kit for just the fender covering the whole thing instead of just a generic kit, you know? I mean, some of the older ones we do just because there's not that much, not many kit orders for the older bikes, but like the newer ones, we're, we're moving a lot of kits, so we want it to be easy for you as well as it to look good representing our company. You got that piece. That piece done. God, even just that piece by itself. So, then we get get your layout of your other pieces. You can do this too, even before you peel the backing off. Like if you're dealing with cold conditions, like I'll just run these over there just to soften this material up, makes it more workable. You know? And because we're completing the eagle, what I would do is start down here so we can make sure all our lines at the very front of the fender are lining up real good. You get that stuff nice and warm, it's soft, and cold. You get all those bubbles out. Not that I put have any in there, but um, sometimes you will. Get those bubbles out. That material heated up. And we got this piece. And then this finished piece right here. Little fingers, so we grab our blow dryer. Okay. 
Okay, this is our centerpiece. You even got a centerpiece. Got our back pieces. Back fender. Always drive to the smooth where is the best spot. We want to stick it and work out. Okay. 2015 KX450 front fender, PSE, graphic install. And it's easy, man. Easy to do. Definitely can do it yourself. Um, and we're going to be doing more videos. I'm going to do different bikes, different years, different pieces, shrouds, number plates, the tough pieces, pipe side number plate, which is the toughest. I got tricks. So stay tuned. Thank you for following us. And uh, look forward to showing you guys graphics. See them out there at the track and in the hills. Thank you, guys.